Hello, my name is Roger Lincoln. I'm the online community manager for Group Vision, and I'm your host for today's webinar, the Aon Reality Experience. Uh, our, the presenters today will be uh, Pierre Julien Barrow, Business Development Director from Aon Reality, uh, his colleagues Neil Anderson, CTO from Aon Reality, Ken Swain, Managing Director, Aon UK, and Martin Kasika, Coordinator of the Aon School in Manchester. Uh, now your microphones will be muted automatically, um, but they will be unmuted at the end of each presentation to give you an opportunity to ask any questions. Um, you can also use the, the little chat pane that you just see on the bottom right of your screen there. If you want to ask, ask any questions as we're going through the presentations. As I say, there'll be a short question and answer session at the end of each presentation and then at the end of the whole webinar. Uh, and the speakers may well invite you to comment during their presentation as well. So uh, without further ado, I will hand over to Pierre Julien Barrow, the Business Development Director from Aon Reality. Well, thank you, Roger. Uh, let me try to share my screen. Can everybody see my screen? I can. OK, so we should be OK. Let me put it full screen. So thanks a lot, uh, Roger, for the introduction. And uh, welcome, uh, everybody, to this uh, Eon Reality webinar. So today we have some special uh, guests that will, uh, that will speak about uh, uh, Eon Reality and especially about Eon Reality solutions uh, for like uh, professional training, vocational training, and education. But be before I, I give them the the, the presenter mode, I, I will just start with a very short introduction about Eon Reality, uh, like a very uh, quick five ten minute overview of the of the company where we are coming from uh, and where we fit in this uh, virtual reality industry. Uh, so Eon Reality is a company that was created in 1999 that was created in uh, Los Angeles in uh, Southern California uh, and today we have branches uh, in Singapore, in Sweden, uh, in Manchester, UK, uh, in Qatar and Saudi Arabia uh, and what we provide uh, to our clients is a complete interactive 3D solutions platform so meaning we are providing first uh, like interactive 3 development software, which is basically our DNA, is basically a software uh, to be able to create interactive 3D environments, so importing any type of 2D or 3D objects uh, and converting them into like a, like a live interactive 3D scene, uh, which can be used for like marketing or sales purposes, if you think about like uh, uh, product configurators, but can also be used as a, as a training uh, simulator. If you think about offshore platforms, uh, we can train people inside like uh, virtual offshore platforms or drilling sites uh, inside these uh, virtual three environments. Uh, and we talk about like a complete uh, solutions platform uh, because we are also providing on top of this uh, software component, we are also provided, providing like uh, what we call immersive display systems. So it's basically integrated hardware that are really connected to the software uh, to make a complete uh, turnkey solution. And it ranges from like very simple mobile devices like uh, 3D projection systems, 3D TVs, uh, interactive mirrors. And it, uh, it goes up to like very uh, large size and immersive display systems uh, like uh, concave walls. Uh, and the, the most advanced way of interacting with the content is what you can see in the upper right corner is what we call an eye cube, which is some type of immersive room uh, where you are surrounded by 3D walls all synchronized together, so which gives you the feeling of being inside uh, the virtual 3D application. Uh, and on top of this software and hardware components, we are also providing 3D services, and we will show you some examples today. Uh, so basically providing complete uh, turnkey solutions, turnkey applications to the clients so if you think about like uh, the marketing or sales activities, we provide like a, a complete like uh, interior configurator to the aerospace industry, for example. Uh, and if you think about training side, uh, you can see one uh, example of, uh, of a training simulator of like an oil and gas platform. So people can like employees, workers can operate uh, virtual petrochemical facilities and can be trained. And again, you will see some examples today. Okay. 
uh, if we look at the market where we operate, uh, industry is of course the number one. Uh, virtual reality is coming from the industry, especially from the aerospace industry and energy industry. As I mentioned, we are providing training simulators to the energy and medical industry, for example, uh, providing like design review applications to the architecture area, uh, aerospace, automotive industry as well. Uh, the second market, that is a growing market, is education. So basically providing three learning solutions uh, to schools like primary schools, uh, universities, high schools, uh, and also for the professional and vocational training. And again, you will see a, a very nice example today uh, from, from Ken Swain about world skills collaboration. Uh, and the third thing uh, that we, we are working on, the third market, the third main market, is edutainment, which is basically a combination of education and entertainment. So we are working with science centers, uh, with museums, and also with like uh, very big uh, corporations uh, on this type of uh, edutainment solution. So we do like virtual aquariums, uh, virtual space exploration modules as well. And also if you think about like pure entertainment, like the type of uh, what you can see in the bottom right corner, like uh, soccer games, where you are basically inside a stadium and you can play and interact uh, with, uh, with players, football players. Uh, one key thing, and Nils will talk about the software to give you some information about the, how, how the software works, uh, but one very important thing with the, with the Eon software is the diversity of publishing formats, meaning that once you create one application, for example a training application, it's quite easy to publish uh, the same application on very different formats, like individual formats, personal formats, uh, like uh, mobile devices, like tablets and smartphones, like desktop displays, like three TVs, uh, immersive benches, uh, same with like large size immersive systems, like large size 3D walls. We have this type of like nine meters wide concave screens. Uh, we have the iCube system, which is a very immersive way of interacting with the content. Uh, and also some other types like Oculus, uh, this new uh, ad mounted display that is coming uh, on the market at a very uh, nice um, price point. Uh, and then also some type of like interactive mirror, which are let's say different ways of interacting with 3D content uh, using Kinect. Just to give you just a few slides about the system, I, I picked just two or three examples of, of display system. So we have this type of uh, desktop publishing capability, so which, has, which are meant to be used what, what, by, by one person, uh, still very interactive and very immersive. So we have this uh, Eon iDesk systems that can turn uh, any type of 3D monitor like into like a very immersive uh, systems, immersive display, you get the combination of 3D glasses, so 3D stereoscopic 3D effect, and at the same time you have this type of interactive uh, stylus or pen uh, where you can really manipulate uh, objects uh, and interact with objects uh, as if they were really in front of you, you can really manipulate them. Uh, if you look at the, about like larger immersion, the, the, the best way to interact with the content and to feel inside the 3D environment is to use like this Eon iCube systems. Uh, which are available in two versions, uh, like the standard version uh, with four walls uh, that you can put in any, any type of rooms, uh, and the Eon IQ Mobile, uh, which is a more compact and, and mobile version, uh, which you can move from places to places very easily. It takes about one day uh, to set up or to dismount. So it's very useful uh, for like marketing purposes, so you can use it for, for trade shows, for example. And Sometimes you want to have like, even more people interact with the 3D content, so we have some even larger immersion systems. Uh, something we developed last year, which is called the Eon Eye Dome, uh, which is like, an, uh, like a, a spherical dome uh, where you can put usually about 30 people, uh, but again, it's very scalable, so it can be less people, it can be much more people as well, uh, where each people can interact, so the 30 people, each participant can interact uh, with the interactive 3D content. So it's, very useful for like edutainment purposes and entertainment purposes, but it can also be used for like uh, collaborative training as well uh, in the professional world. Uh, Eon Concave is also one example of like large size systems where you can have like multiple people, like 20, 25 people uh, inside the same uh, virtual environment. Uh, and now before I move to, 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 to Ken, we, we'll talk about this uh, world skill project. I will just show you a few examples of, of projects we, we are doing right now in the uh, training and education uh, sectors. Uh, first one is world skills, and again I will not 
spend so much time because Ken uh, will give you much more details. But World Skills is basically like a, like a worldwide organization that is promoting uh, new technologies uh, for vocational training. So we are working with them to develop new solutions, uh, especially on the on the content side, so to develop like new uh, interactive applications for vocational training. Another good example is uh, oil and gas. Uh, as you know, as you might know. It's very expensive to train people in oil and gas. It's not safe usually to send uh, non-trained people to offshore locations and so on. So uh, using virtual reality, uh, so having trainees inside virtual environments and doing interactive three trainings is a very efficient way of, of, uh, of training people. So you have like better trainings because it's interactive, it's hands-on, people have to do things inside the environments. So it's uh, like higher quality of trainings. Uh, it's very effective knowledge transfer, again, because it's interactive and 3D. And so improve safety, so both during the training, uh, because it's like very safe uh, virtual places, and also after the training, so when you send people on site because they are better trained, uh, there's like, like an improved safety overall. Uh, and last but not least is also a very uh, interesting point is the cost reduction, uh, especially in training costs by using this type of virtual reality systems uh, for training purposes. Another good example uh, in the construction sector, again, same type of environment, like very large systems, very large facilities, not really safe usually, so using virtuality and, and immersive 3D is a good way to, to, to train people if you think about these uh, construction sites. Uh, you, can, you can train the workers the best way possible and again in a very safe way. Uh, another example is a collaboration we are doing right now with the Temasek Polytechnic in Singapore uh, where we are basically uh, uh, developing uh, 3D, it's mobile, this time it's not like iCube system, it's like mobile 3D applications that we are developing together with Temasek and the students of Temasek, so developing like learning material uh, as a collaboration between, uh, between Temasek students uh, and EON experts as well. And last but not least, just to show you how, how that we can have like really uh, uh, scientific uh, projects and very uh, serious projects, I would say, uh, is this project we've been doing since uh, 2010 uh, with uh, Bebs Bolia University in uh, Romania. Uh, we, which is a university that is equipped, the, the psychotherapy department uh, has been the complete building just around an iCube uh, with four walls that you can see on the, on the upper picture. And they are using the iCube system uh, to treat uh, patients. Uh, for example, if you have like fear of flying, uh, these guys they will put you inside a virtual aircraft and in a very scientific way approach uh, and step by step. Uh, they will help you uh, not to get rid of your fears because it's not really possible, but to help you to control your fears. Uh, if you have like fear of eight, for example, they will put you on a virtual diving board, uh, and then step by step they will move the diving board uh, up uh, more and more uh, as much as they can, just again to help you to control your fears. That's basically an overview of uh, of Eon Rate in terms of products and markets, and a few project examples. And now I will uh, give the screen control to, to Ken, uh, who will talk about like more like a vocational training solution than, and this collaboration we are having with the uh, uh, World Skills Organization. Is it? Isn't it? Niels is. Niels, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. My my mistake. Okay. I'm sorry. So Niels is the next one. Sorry. That's uh, okay. So uh, Ken, can you give the screen to Niels? Yep. So okay. Next, we'll talk about the Eon Studio software. Basically, the, what are the principles behind uh, behind Eon Studio? How you create applications uh, from Eon Studio? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. I'm opening up my screen, and uh, I didn't want to show that screen. Maybe so, just before you start, can I can I just ask Halsey and Karen if they have any questions? for Pierre Julien at this stage. Halsey? Hello? Hello Halsey, Karen, do you have any questions at this stage? Um, no questions from no, my No, this is how. <laughs> so, you know, I haven't got any. No, okay, we'll carry on with, with Niels then. Okay, this, so this is Niels Anderson, the CTO from Aon Reality. Thanks, thanks Niels, over to you. Okay, thank you. 
So, um, my name is Niels Andersson. I've been CTU for AR Reality for all the years. I've been working with software development for, well, since I was a kid or something. And I went to university here in Gothenburg. So, what I'm going to talk about more is the software that we develop here in Sweden. I usually say we have the headquarters in Irvine, California, then we have the brain quarters here in Sweden on the west coast, because here we develop this fancy software, uh, even though we have a lot of good people around the world to, to, that creates these stunning effects where we just create the foundation for it. So what we have as a ground is uh, Eon Studio which is an uh, authoring tool for creating your 3D applications. Uh, it's a fairly easy to use tool, uh, a little bit technical on and off, but uh, should be fairly easy to use. On top of this, we have Eon Professional that adds some more features to this. Uh, when we go to virtual reality, we have Eon Eyecatcher which adds support for, for some VR hardware. And then we go to like the state of the art Eon iCube, uh, which gives the cave support. And in order to, well, you, you can develop your own plugins. So we have an SDK that, that is, uh, can be used with Eon as well. Then we have the, um, a little bit of other tools in, in our portfolio. We have some add-ons, uh, plugins to other uh, software. We have some applications based on, on our like core. Uh, I'll come back to these and give some examples. We have some frameworks uh, like Eon Planner. Basically, we are reusing the wheel. We don't have to invent it every year. We, we can reuse it. And we have some third-party integrations. Uh, especially with 3D Max, we have a very good plugin. So, when you build uh, some kind of 3D content with Eon, you, you start usually with CAD software or uh, modeling tool like 3D Max or Maya. We can import uh, in around 60 different 3D formats into our software. And when we have that inside the Eon authoring software, you can uh, create your uh, uh, applications. And uh, it, it's like complete 3D applications, full of interactivity. It's, uh, of course, up to you how much you want to create in there. But you, you can do basically anything. It's, it's more a matter of time. And, of course, the hardware you have, the software is, is fairly unlimited. And mo many people are, of course, always asking for more faster systems, but no, it's coming. Every year we get new, better hardware as well. And then, uh, as Pierre Julian mentioned before, we can publish on, on a lot of different display systems using the same content. So, you can have immersive systems or laptop display or, or mobile device. We look at the Eon Studio, the basic tool. You have a little bit more than 100 nodes or basic building blocks that can be used to, to build up your interactivity and your 3D scene. Uh, we're using the major uh, 3D rendering techniques, OpenGL and Dark3D. Uh, we can, or you can, extend functionality by using a script inside. Uh, we have, in Eon Studio itself, it's an import filter for about 15 formats. Then we have other ways to Im import even more formats. You can integrate with other software. We can do some collision detection, add behavior, and uh, well, prototypes or predefined content, which is a lot of like what, what we've done the last 10, 15 years. And then we have uh, on top of Eon Studio, you can have the Eon Professional uh, part, which uh, will in or give uh, 
not just the on-studio but also a good visual effects module so you can get pretty good real-time visual effects. We have some ultra shaders, I'm going to show you examples of that. We have physics, so things behave a little bit like the real world. We have some uh, module called RPC Humans, so you can have, like you see in the picture to down to the right there are some people walking around in like in a terminal. And we have a product called EonCAD, which is for converting and optimization about in about 60 3D formats. That's a pretty important part to look into optimization because uh, when you have 3D content, it's created for production. It's not made for real-time visualization. That's a complete different uh, or se separate story. Not different, but separate thing, which I will not have time to cover now. In order to get more photorealistic effects, uh, we have an Eon Ultra module with uh, shaders. Shaders is like the uh, state-of-the-art uh, technology used by graphic cards today that, that will uh, really utilize all the power of a graphic card to give more or less photorealistic effects. And some of them, um, I don't know myself really if it's a photo or if it's Eon, on and off. Uh, images that I've seen many times, then I know it, it's not a photo, but some, sometimes it, it looks pretty realistic, I must say myself. Then we have, uh, if we go to virtual reality, we have the Eon eye catcher part which gives support for gloves, so you can work in, in a virtual environment with some gloves and uh, you, you may see them as, as like a 3D model in front of you and uh, you can like manufacture things without having the real physical things. Uh, we have support for different tracker systems which means that they have control of where you are, where your hands are, where your body is in, in uh, the, the virtual environment. Support for stereoscopic viewing, of course. Uh, with a cluster, we can have any number of computers together working with any number of displays. So it's, it's more a physical limitation of how many computers and displays you want to have. But uh, yeah, that's, mo most of these are like four computers in an iCube system, but, but we have systems with uh, more than 10 computers running together. And then the uh, state of the all is, is, uh, is the iCube, where you can be inside, it's like a Star Trek's holodeck. Uh, mm -hmm. You are inside a virtual environment and you feel you are somewhere else. Sometimes people have to be a little bit careful with uh, well, m moving, navigating too fast in there because you, you may actually fall. But the software will handle synchronization between the different uh, displays, computers, where you are and create the uh, correct perspective and uh, it's in, all, all in real time. So. Uh, it's a very nice experience. Then uh, Pierre Julien mentioned a little bit about this. Uh, but we, we have, of course, support for various uh, different hardwares and, and other features with add-on modules. We have a network module. Uh, you can talk to other software or, or network. Uh, we have Eon Interact with support for the Microsoft Kinect. Uh, we have Leap, a small device with that will recognize your hand and finger, somewhat similar to Kinect, where, where Kinect uh, will track your whole body, but the Leap will connect. Kine the Leap will just um, see your your hand and fingers. There is a uh, pretty nice system from uh, our partner Leonardo 3D. Uh, where they have glasses and the tracker device you can work virtually with the small system. We have the uh, Kickstarter project Oculus Rift uh, for the gaming industry but seems promising also for the professional industry. 
it's one of the first head mounted displays that seems to work pretty well. We have other add-on modules that is more software only part uh, like dynamic load so you can dynamically load content from a database or server somewhere in the world. Artificial eye support for uh, 3D displays without using gla glasses and of course all types of stereoscopic support. I'm coming back to stereoscopic support with a later slide. We have some applications that are based on our core software, like spin-off applications, uh, like Eon Creator, made by our Singapore team. It's a great tool for very fast creating your own 3D environment uh, made of uh, like four or five thousand 3D objects. Uh, we have Sidekick, which is a football configurator analyzer tool, mainly for the use market, because it's American football. Uh, we have an interactive mirror, you can, uh, without uh, redressing, you can test out various uh, clothes and things, so it's very fast to do that. We have a framework called Eon Planner, uh, used for example by Atlas Copco for planning a factory layout, in this case it's for compressor systems. And this is something, it's a sales help tool that will help salespeople to shorten time from a visit to a proposal uh, instead of that time being like two, three weeks, it can be one day. Um, mentioned we have a plugin for uh, 3D Max in Raptor, uh, which is a good tool for converting uh, models from 3D Max. You can even use uh, Revit models, take them via 3D Max, and we can export animations and physics also directly into Eon. I don't know if, if this is too relevant in this presentation, but we have made some major improvements in, in from version 7 to version 8 in, in Eon, uh, so we can use very, very large models now, and, and uh, you can see just by using a new version, uh, the speed in, in inside Eon goes up like four times in some cases. I've seen like m much more as well. And we also have models, in this case we have a laser scan model that is very high detailed and that was not possible to run before, but we can run it now. Uh, a little bit more about publishing, uh, as Pierre Julien mentioned, we can publish into many different display formats, but you can also embed in different other software, like you can have uh, inside a web browser, you can create your own host application, embed Eon content in there, that we have our other, our other display solutions like uh, iCubes, Powerwalls, and Eon Mobile. Um, which I'm coming back to with one more slide shortly. For stereoscopic viewing, uh, everybody today probably know about 3D and um, it's, it's been a hype now since we got the 3D TVs. Uh, however, we've been working with this for, well, 15 years or something. So it's, it's not new at all for us, but there is a lot of different ways to generate and handle the stereoscopic viewing and we basically support what's on the market. Uh, when we go to the new handheld de devices, uh, we have last year may given support for uh, mobile devices, uh, both phones and, and tablets using Android and iOS. You still use the same Eon Studio software to create the content and use the same tools. It's more that you export to another format. Here we also have support for augmented reality. And uh, yeah, future is coming. Part of the future is here. Uh, and um, it's a challenge for us always to look into what, what what's there 
on, on the horizon? What, what's, what new technology is it that we should focus on? Uh, but it's it's very important part of of our development to really look into what's coming and what what will be uh, the future for us. So we're all always trying to be like on the edge of what what's possible. So that's uh, the little part of our software. So do we have any questions? Halsey, Karen, do you have any questions for uh, Niels, please? Um, it's okay. Karen, yeah, that's got a question. Um, yes, I would Karen. like to know, I come from the education background, and um, will this software be available for schools so that students can learn how to use this? Um, or is it really more uh, enterprise that, that uses the software? Uh, I, in one way, the answer will come from Marcin because he, he's handling students using this. But yes, you, you can have this in schools. And we have many different types of use of the software in, within the like, school world. One is, is that you can use the tools to learn how this works. Another way is to just use the content to learn like bi biology. So this is a medium for, for uh, this. And then we have also universities using this tool for presentation of scientific data. So, so they, want, they have something they want to present and, and uh, this is just a simple tool to use for, for their work. Okay, great. Thank yeah, you. One more thing, there are quite a lot of universities that are using this tool as a way to teach about virtual reality and I'm thinking about the Technical University of Dresden, for example, in Germany, uh, who is using Eon Studio uh, to teach virtual reality, uh, but then there are also lots of universities that are using it just to create learning content uh, as part of their curriculum. There are two ways of using it, basically. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks, Karen. Um, can we move on to Ken? Yes. So Ken Swain, Managing Director of Aon UK. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Ken Swain. I've been with Aon Reality since uh, 2004. I have a strong background in 3D design and animation. And um, today I'm going to focus primarily on some aspects of the professional training. So since 1999, Ian's been creating interactive 3D. Uh, key sectors have been energy, construction, manufacturing, medical, aerospace, defense. And um, pretty much most of those would have been either sales and marketing or training and learning. Um, today we're going to focus on the training, like I say. So si since the cost of technology has been reduced by up to 90% and performance is much stronger, there are few barriers to using this technology in both education and in industry. Um, we opened the Eon Reality European Hub in the UK almost a year ago and we generated significant interest from many organizations in improving their knowledge transfer within industry. So we've partnered with the World Skills Foundation uh, to improve and broaden their skills training that they offer around the world. Um, and what you see here on the screen is the, ic the icon uh, images that we used in part of this training. So the first four that we did were aeronautical engineering, plumbing, joinery, and floristry. And can I just jump to the movie much? So I'm just going to show you a short um, animation um, showing a few of these examples. Um, maybe I'll actually fast track a few bits through to it. So the first one here is the plumbing. So this one here was to replicate the training that they were doing to teach 
young people, the basics about plumbing and connectivity, what was important and what wasn't. Uh, we turned this into uh, a, a fun environment that had a challenge that within a minute they had to do this um, and there was a time clock ticking down. The second one we did was the woodworking one where again it was to instruct them the process between the felling of a tree and the actual machined piece of timber that would go to build a desk or a window frame, etc. Then the uh, next one was aeronautical engineering where we actually took you on the air, the airflow through a turbine engine so we could actually show you the bad air that flows to the outside and then the clean air which actually goes through and has the power. And then the last one was the floristry one, which was teaching um, using exotic flowers in a bridal bouquet, which can be very expensive um, because it can be quite a, a destructive process in the training. And we could actually go through and take you right the way through the whole of that environment. So those were four examples. And what we're now doing is we're actually looking at the next set, which will be uh, CNC machining, uh, IT skills, landscaping, and hospitality industry, all areas where skills need to be improved. And uh, the, the key thing here is um, that the way we generated this content was we actually got subject matter experts in. Uh, we had a workshop. We uh, showed them what was possible they came up with ideas that they could not do easily in the real environment that would add value into their training. So having our development team with the subject matter experts gave us new training. The challenge here though in professional training is always that we need to do more with less. We've got reducing budgets, we've got a, a, a race to actually um, develop more material and be more effective. And the challenge is to do more with, with less every time. So the solution is virtual 3D learning. So World Skills Group found out um, being able to use this technology enables them to do far more and far more cost effectively than they could. So the, the solution is transferring knowledge. It's got to be fun. It's got to be uh, interactive and it's got to be cost effective. And we know that um, from independent research studies that we have improved results in training and whether it's education or industry. Tension levels are almost double, test results go up much quicker. Here we have an illustration from an outside uh, organization where they realized that in their internal engineer training, they could do it 12 times faster. So using augmented reality instead of their classical training, they can save as much as 92% of the training cost. And when they're talking to their customers, there was a, a potential 63% training. So this forefront of technology is definitely the way to a more productive environment. And the evolution of this within the training, um, you can see that starting at the bottom we have standard classroom training, then we have e-learning, then simulators of a standard variety, and then we have our augmented reality solution over time. So moving this forward, the tablet and 3D glasses in augmented reality are already here and beginning to take up. The IQ solution that Niels and Pierre Julien referred to before gives us a flexible simulator environment. We have our e-learning cloud-based system, which is the Eon experience. Okay? And then we have things like iBench, the desktop publishing, which gives us our virtual 3D classroom. So over the past six months, we've had some interesting developments from industry, particularly from the energy and utility sector. So they're very keen on digital transformation in training, and their key focus is health and safety. They need to have a better platform, and they need to make it more effective. They, again, it's back to that doing more with less. They've all got to up their game 
and get better results and they don't have unlimited budgets, they just have to be more effective. And an interesting one in recent months has been in the automotive and manufacturing sector where their key focus and challenge is on improving education within their number one supply chain. They need to educate them more effectively and more efficiently because they're struggling to keep up with people like you know good automotive manufacturers uh, being able to produce the material on time. So the bottom line is more companies need to train more people. It is their number one challenge. How do we do more with less and improve on these efficiencies? It's, I think we've got the answer with the Eon Interactive 3D Training Solution. Um, this solves most of their problems. Okay, thanks, that's me. Has anybody got any questions based on that? Thank you. Thanks very much, Ken. Halsey, Karen, any questions on that? Karen, Halsey? Yes, um, uh, the question, so if I understand it correctly, it is really um, to experience almost the real world in a 3D environment. Um, if I want to teach students in terms of construction, um, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the, I think you, that's spot on really because what we're doing is we're creating an interactive 3D experience where the students are usually the instructor will demonstrate and show the principles of whatever it is, whether it's science construction, then the student can actually do the tasks themselves. And we know from various bits of research that when 3D and interactive comes in, you, you're actually switching on uh, different parts of the brain and the retention of that learning material is much stronger. They, they, they learn complex things quicker but the retention is much quicker and it's the doing action that actually helps that. So it's almost as good as doing it for real. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Thank you. Great. Ken, Ken and Roger here, can I just ask, is any special equipment required to, to run all this software? It depends on the platform. I mean, as, as Niels and Pierre Julien went before, we've got literally everything from mobile phones and tablets through the desk space, through the more immersive, right through to the iCube. So, mm. for example, one extreme, uh, disaster planning for um, an oil company, they will have an immersive environment with an iCube where we can train people who are first responders right. in a dangerous environment, which you can't do for real. No. Um, no. Separately, in the, one of the world skills ones, we had a demonstration suite using the plumbing in an iCube, but we also had augmented reality uh, piece that supported that learning so they could learn on their phone whilst they were walking around the exhibition. So depending wow. on the depth of the training will dictate the platform. But it's like we said, probably all three of us have said, we can produce the content one time, but then we can publish it on all of these different formats. Great. Fine. Okay. So with that then, let's move on to uh, Martin Kazika, who is the coordinator of the Aon School in Manchester. Passing over to you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, I would like to focus on the Entrepreneur Coding School, which is based here in Manchester, especially on the fact that it's our Eon Reality approach to actually recruit people. So, uh, a little bit of an overview: Who am I? Uh, who I am? Uh, I am uh, a training and support manager here in Manchester. Uh, I came from academic background and, uh, and have quite a significant years of experience in seeing how they mainly research and development of different applications for either education or customers has been developed using uh, various types of systems, mainly Eon Reality systems. So shortly uh, today I would like to uh, focus on answering some of the questions, what is coding school, why are we doing it, where are we doing it, what for, for who, how much does it cost for the students or is it any cost involved into that, so then uh, uh, focusing who are our students, who are our trainers, uh, how are we delivering the training, how are we making things happen, which uh, guys uh, talked about it before, so how it is that the Eon Reality grows and there's expansion going on, uh, what are the results of our training uh, and uh, when is then the next intake, how it looks like in a time frame and what's next for, the, for us as an Eon Reality and for our students. 
So in short words, the, the our coding school, uh, Eon Entrepreneur Coding School, is is mainly focused on uh, giving the people, young people, uh, and a training opportunity to become a 3D interactive content developers, uh, with the perspective uh, to to either work for us in the future or developing by themselves or being a freelancer or working for somebody else in the area of virtual and augmented reality application creation. And uh, as a company, for us. Uh, this school actually gives an opportunity to grow our skills, uh, build the strengths in that area, and be, on the end of each intake to choose the best people to become our employee. Um, where are we based? We're, we're based in Manchester. Our, one of our coding schools is based in Manchester. We have uh, um, around 500 square meters of a training um, a facility available for up to 100 students. Uh, we um, we have a um, good location within the Manchester city. Why are we doing it? Uh, because we we know uh, base that, that there is a growing demand from our customers and uh, cooperating companies to to have people who can use a, a 3D software, who can develop application, who can fulfill the need which markets actually have right now. We know that the, uh, on the market there is lack of experts who can use the, the hardware, everything become more and more popular. Word 3D is no longer a magical word, it's, it's come to our houses. The problem is that the, many people don't understand the potential and or they, have a, they understand the potential but they don't have a knowledge how to actually extract it and, and make it happen to, to the real world, to the uh, our common lives to, to make it useful technology, not just a gadget. So we, because also the Eon Reality, as Pierre Julien mentioned before, we are right now expanding quite a lot as a company. Uh, we have uh, our office in Manchester has been established in March last year, and we we growing very fast. And uh, that all the coding schools around the world, which which are established right now, when we talk. Uh, as well, um, we know that as a as a location in Manchester, uh, as any of the location, there is always some prob there are always some problems with finding the right people who can develop the content, uh, and uh, very often it, it requires a training. So our approach was let's get those young people on the ten months program. Let's train them everything we need. We think. Uh, uh, our employees should know who about the content development and uh, because of this approach we actually also giving a, that's a, a, a one of the benefits why we're doing is that we're giving a fresh new approach uh, to our uh, to our company history uh, into this in the sense of the software hardware and solution development uh, the the one of also reasons why we're doing it, as I mentioned, uh, is the the need the need for from industry to develop the application which are bespoke for them, from education where this actually market grows really fast because of uh, the prices of the equipment went down and and the education has a massive need for new technologies, especially that involves young people and their passion about everything which is new, the old methods. Is uh, becoming more and more replaced with the new methods, and we we know that augmented reality and mobile technologies are the one which will replace the the, the standard way of of the knowledge knowledge distribution, and uh, education mixed with entertainment. So entertainment uh, is also a growing part of 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 of, of our uh, content development process. So we we focusing there is a need for those three elements and uh, coding school is the answer to fulfill that need. Uh, what does coding school give as opportunity? Uh, how much is cost? How long does it take? In in short words, it it gives a general knowledge and but also professional work experience for those young people. Uh, we are ready to take for our ten months program, which usually st I mean which starts in September and ends of in uh, in July next year the year after. Um, uh, we are ready to take up to 100 participants in each intake. Uh, our aim as a Manchester office is actually to grow uh, with the amount of the employees to about 250 people around that number uh, in the, within the five years. The training itself, uh, we, we established as a part-time training which is carried on from Monday to Thursday, but we are open for our for any people who are working, uh, who are participants of our school, we are open much more because uh, we are open from Monday to Friday, from 
morning till the afternoon about the costs and that's the the nicest thing for our students and everybody who's interested in our coding school we don't charge anything for for uh, attending our training we believe that uh, the the way we approach to that um, is is with the benefits for the young people and benefits for eon reality as well all of them get as a as a benefit of, of joining us they have access to our one of the newest showroom with the newest technology available on the market uh, around the virtual virtual augmented reality technologies an immersive projection system we have a, a very modern looking training facility and uh, also our approach is very flexible to the training which I'm going to talk in a moment so who is our target as a students those are mainly young people do we need a, rec a special qualification the answer is no not necessarily of course the better the, 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 if somebody has some exposure to the 2d uh, design desktop publishing 3d modeling programming any kind of even web design elements that's great and we definitely look for those kind of people but the main main uh, point for us is to have a young people with the passions and being dedicated to to learn something new being being uh, able to work as a member of a team and and seeing the need of growing own skills because we know if they grow own skills eon reality also grown with them to attract them to inform them each month at least one time a month we organizing some uh, like an open day event called eon awareness morning uh, where you can see one photo from that event when young people can experience all the technology and learn about the coding school and then they can make a decision of joining us. What do we teach them? Uh, all that Pierre, Julien mentioned, uh, Ken and, and Niels uh, about the type of a solution we have, type of the market we expand uh, that leads us to the, the following curriculum that we have to give everybody some general knowledge about the hardware, software solutions, about the general information about what is the stereoscopy, where it goes, what are the future of it, including natural interfaces. We also teach them about the basic knowledge on the 3D modeling, 3D content development, content creation, and since, uh, using the most common and most known solutions like 3ds Max or ZBrush. We're using the, uh, our tools and also other, other, com uh, other companies' tools. We're focusing on, on the browsing, uh, the different content, content for education, how to create it, how to browse it, how to, how to build the content for education, as well for engineering and commercial purposes. We teach them about our uh, authoring software and many other, uh, about uh, how to develop the, the, the solution for immersive systems and uh, how to make it work uh, in the real world. Um, we focusing on the mobile devices and integration with the, with the uh, network, with internet. Uh, we also focusing now on the additional skills because we know those are important in the whole whole uh, whole process and uh, we focusing on the, the elements of the research and development as well so as i mentioned before our 10 months uh, we have a 10 months program uh, within the approximately first 3 months we teach uh, uh, about the general pipeline of the work uh, of a content development uh, where uh, we had, for instance, di during this intake, uh, which started September last year, we had already more than 20 visiting trainers from around the world. Um, we have uh, more than 250 hours of live training, which was carried on here in Manchester, but we have also some remote session. Uh, not only e we take the best EON people to teach, but not only EON reality staff, but also cooperating partners from the companies like NVIDIA, ZSpace, Icon, and so on. Uh, and after the three months, when everyone gets some basic information about the pipeline process for the content creation, we focus on the work experience. So the students can uh, f uh, work on educational projects, building own portfolio. Uh, they, they can also do some research and development and, and, and do, be involved in commercial projects as well. Um, we uh, analyze and we focus uh, with, with, with that amount of students on different aspects of the content developments, either as a preparation, negotiation, customer with the customers, taking a brief schedule, scheduling uh, project management elements as well on the 3D artist uh, um, part of our, uh, our content creation path 
and uh, f f f finishing on the on the content creation using using authoring solutions and being able to deploy the, the application for all sorts of systems which uh, Niels and Julian were presenting. Our results is that from the first intake which had, had taken uh, place on the beginning of uh, 2013, we already employed more than 50% of our students and they, have, they are working right now as our junior content developers. Uh, second intake, uh, for the second intake we had uh, 45 students who started with us and the training actually happening even right now um, one floor below where we are here uh, we have some 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 training going on um, we already working on the uh, recruitment for the third intake which will start in September 2014 uh, and our students uh, in, um, uh, in the coding school are already involved in some project around the education like creating virtual chemistry laboratory building some scenes for sports oriented projects uh, some project around the architecture and city planning, some uh, project about the biology uh, and the human eye treatment simulation, uh, some augmented reality application and uh, even uh, working on the project for our core customers uh, around the oil, uh, raffiner, oil raffinery visualization. So what's next? Uh, for the students, this school gives the, uh, for the future job opportunity, three months internship, that's one of the three we, we, we offer. The best students will have a chance to choose one of our international offices for three months internship, either as a Singapore, California or Sweden or maybe in the future will be as well Oman and other locations around the world. We give them work experience, we have given them possibility to build a portfolio and work in a really creative team, build a relationship and uh, because 80% of we teach is actually transferable knowledge, that means they can, they can build own strengths in that and have a contact to their specialists either it is within Eon Reality or within the cooperating companies. For, uh, for us as an Eon Reality company, that gives us a possibility to employ new staff and build that strength in content development and make sure uh, we uh, it give us already the, the, the possibility to look on the on the next intakes and, and, and making sure that in the future we, we fulfill the school and there are more creative people uh, benefits from the school and young benefits from, from their presence as well. We always looking on improvements into the training, including curriculum. So, because the market changing so fast, we also focusing on on being on on uh, uh, being updated to the all modern technology. Being uh, we developing because of coding school, we are able to develop more content. We are able to gain new customers, uh, focus on new, be able to focus on new solutions. May we can make our products better and few pictures on the end just to showing some students in action and, and relaxation, some members of our team. And with, I already probably extended a little bit of time, so right now I'm able to, thank you very much for attention, I'm able to answer some questions. If there are any questions which I will not be able to answer, please contact me remotely. Okay, thanks Martin. Um, I, th there is one question from Sarah which uh, I, I overlooked, which will be for Ken, I think. But does anybody have any specific questions about the Aon School in Manchester? Specifically about the Aon School, anybody? No? Okay, Sarah, can I just come back to you? I, I, ap I apologize for overlooking your question. Um, which I think is for Ken. Do you want do you want to ask the question, Sarah? Do you have any customers? The question is: Do do you have any customers or markets in either defence uh, or health medical yet? Ken, I think that, that that's one for you. I think. Yes, we we have um, in the health area. It's um, Toledo. We've got, in fact, we've got um, defenses always in the US. They've got several um, customers, but they tend not to say, speak too much about those particular ones. But we have one, one university in University of Toledo that's actually building a brand new center for uh, interactive virtual reality training within the medical area, and they are. Um, multidisciplinary uh, training facility, quite advanced, and I, I know I'm not sure what stage we're at, but there's um, 
there's a group in Europe um, that are also interested in doing a similar area. Pierre Julian may be able to add more on that. But um, and separately, there's also um, the Veteran Eye Hospital where we've done a couple of applications to facilitate training specifically around the structure of the, the eyeball in um, medical nursing doctor type training. I can mention one other military project that was done in Sweden for actually the Swedish Marine. Okay. Uh, as well, the military projects are usually quite secret. It took some years until I actually could see this, but uh, one of our customers made a periscope simulator for a submarine uh, training facility. So they used our software inside the hardware periscope simulator. This is more than 10 years ago they, this was developed. Is it, is it okay, Sarah? Do you want to ask any anything else on that? Yeah, I would like to ask a question. It's Karen speaking. Um, okay. Um, I'm from I'm from South Africa. Um, so we're just trying to think in terms of um, a trainer in South Africa for um, instead of people then going to Manchester. Do you have any other training facilities that might be possible? Yeah, Pierre, would you like to expand on um, Nalidi? Yes, I'm just trying to think that, um, especially I'm thinking that there might be a wonderful application for this for universities uh, in terms of when yeah. they then uh, train students uh, for industry. Um, then to have somebody who, who will know how the software works and then they can train their students at university um, mm -hmm. and develop content in South Africa because um, so that's just my question regarding that. Or is the only place that one can attend training right now in Manchester then? Um, no, we, we Ma Manchester is probably the, the the first training school of its type within the Eon Group. Um, like I say, we opened this time uh, last year, but we do have a partner in South Africa um, who's been working with Eon Reality for quite a while and they're looking to set up a facility which may not be so large but they will be able to facilitate that and um, either myself or Pierre Julian could put you in touch with them. Um, the company name is Nalidi 3D and they've been working with us now for the best part of 15 years I think. They are also working a lot in the healthcare uh, business area. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that would be great. If, if you can put us in contact with him um, and, and, and send me maybe the contact details, that would be great. Okay, we'd love to. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any, anybody else have any more questions? No? In that, in that case, I'll say thank you very much to our speakers from Aon Reality today. Um, just to tell you that our next webinars are on the 11th of March, the perfect meeting experience, the 25th of March, which is the perfect learning experience, and uh, the 8th of April, which will again be the perfect meeting experience. Uh, we are organizing some new webinars which will be uh, announced very shortly. So thank you for your attention. Um, you can uh, have a look at what Group Vision does at www.groupvision.com. Uh, you can contact me, r.lincoln at groupvision.com, and we're also contactable through LinkedIn, and uh, of course you can tweet us on, on Twitter if you care to do so. So thank you all very much for your attention today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again sometime in the future. Thank you very much. Okay, bye now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.